Hello everyone, it's me again, Hamad. Uh, so this is the first video, actually the first video, the previous one was an introduction to our project. So in this project we are going to get our hands dirty and start working in our game. So we are going to make a new project, Clank project. And yeah, I prefer it in the same place and let's call it Braid. Yeah, nice name. So anyway, uh, I kept looking around the internet, searching for atlases and searching for assets from the game. Yeah, there is some assets from the game already free by the artist David Hellman in his blog. And yeah, it's good, but it's not all the assets we need to build a level in this game. So I kept looking on the internet until I found some assets and I extracted some stuff. So this is basically most of the stuff we are going to use so if you need this stuff i don't know if i'm going to put with the project or no i don't have the right to put this but trust me if you did some google you will find everything so yeah this is the asset by the way you will find in google the assets with uh, plague background and there is alpha or something like this and so you need to to make a mask in Photoshop and cut everything. So yeah, this is the assets I found. And here... No, not this one. Yeah, this is uh, the assets you are going to download from the... from the blog. Yeah, this is the assets you are going to download. So I, I just organized everything. And made an... Here something called atlases. So basically, you'll find everything in one PSD. So this PSD contains all the animations for Tim. So you need to open and use a script or such a thing and export all the layers to PNG sequences. And then you can use this PNG sequences. But to make everything a bit more fast, I, I prefer to use atlases. So I took everything and used an application and build these atlases. So basically this is climbing horizontally and this is climbing vertically. So this is all the frames, it's a loop. And this is dying, it's uh, one tick, so it's not looping. One, two, three, four, five, six. And this is the dying loop. And this is the idle animation. And this is opening the door animation. And this is the loop of running. Of course the game have lots of animations, not only this. All of these animations in the game but yeah the, you can see the red ones is the ones I picked to the game I think the other stuff we might don't need to use or maybe you are going to use for example jump or something but yeah I think there is something here called various frames something yeah anyway you are going to to get some stuff from here as well, maybe falling or something, but yeah, we're not going to use everything. It, it, it depends on when we are going to make the controller system, what we are going to use. So yeah, anyway, let's pick these atlases and let's open our new project and come on here and we, we are going to make in this video the atlases and animations only, so we can keep this scene this level so let's make a new folder and call it atlases and in this atlases we are going to make two directories or subdirectories uh, let's call it Tim I liked his name last time I called him a guy or a boy but yeah I googled and found his name was Tim so yeah and let's make another folder for the background environment environment so in Tim let's put all his stuff in here okay thanks and in the environment let's put uh, where it was my desktop and puzzle source braid others braid atlases sorry 
here. Okay, thanks. Yeah, it's fine. So, the other thing, we start making our sprites. So basically I'm going to make sprites first and then I'm going to make the animation. So I'll be explaining how I make the sprites with using Atlas. So if you missed the last video or something, or maybe you are using something new in this video, but I'm sure for the animation itself, we're going to use a bit new technique. But for making the Atlas itself, it's almost the same. So yeah, uh, I'll show a little bit how to make like three or four sprites and then uh, the video will be running too fast so just saving some time. So let's make here gold sprites. And set my sprites here. Let's call this one same team. And uh, environment so this environment so let's create sprite from here uh to be in here miscellaneous oh, oh yeah so we need to import first our uh plugin 2d paper 2d so it's here in 2d enable paper 2d and restart my pretty engine save everything Yeah, our engine already finished. So let's go again to the sprites directory. Wow. Yeah. Okay, Atlas is still exists because it's already have some com content in here, but sprites directory removed or deleted by the engine because it's an empty directory so let's make it again and let's here in sprites let's make another folder called team and let's work with team first okay let's make a miscellaneous and sprite and let's call this one uh okay team or no need for Tim. Oh, yeah, Tim, Tim is fine. Tim uh, idle 1. Or let's work first with something less in frames, not idle. So let's select from here uh, raid animations, team atlases. Let's. Okay, climb vertical. Vertically, vertically, one, and let's open this. And here we will have a huge list. In fact, let's uh, yeah. This is our atlas, and let's check here the image dimensions is. 832.146 so sorry check here 832.146 so this is our image so and then we're going to like cut to this area only. So it shouldn't be it's reduced, it should be like uh, say a hundred. Oh wow, it's nice. So I think if we move this to one hundred yeah, okay. So this is uh number one. And let's save this, close it, and let's create a copy and call it 2, open number 2, and this is how it would be a bit easy, so we press 200, or maybe 201, maybe 204, 201. 
10 for example yeah it's fine so it's not clipping his hand and save let's create a copy three so basically it says 310 it's still clipping his hand so it's 320 oh it's clipping from the other side so that's 315 so yeah this one is fine and let's keep adding hundreds it have much here one two three four five six seven eight so we need eight of these so let's create another copy three four four hundred and let's say this one yeah, because his pinky, our precious pinky, was lost. So, what is this one? Create another copy for this is 5. And here, well, it should be 500. Let's just make sure it's cool. And then, create another copy, 6. And this is fine. And seven. One thing I'm really missing here in, in Unreal Engine, uh, when I do copy something, it it give a strange naming. It's it's not convenient for me how, how it copies the names let's finish this first okay 25 is not fine 30 is not fine so 27 oh it's clipping the other hand so let's say it's 7 20 like the other one 7 25 but you can see that the hand is clipped from here oh so you cannot see from this so in here the hand is clipped so we might make this one a bit bigger so instead of 100 let's say 110 and it covers everything and I think we still have to make one yeah so, so in other engines like uh, in other engine whenever you copy this or even in Mac itself whenever you copy a folder it's called untitled 1 for example it will rename the other fol folder untitled 2 and uh, and the other one untitled, untitled 3 and the other untitled 4 uh, in engine like unity if you have team climbing vertical 7 if you duplicate this it will be 8 and then 9 10 but here when I duplicate this image it called 7 Two. so it, it reminds me with Windows so yeah 8 and here it should be 800 and let's make this 100 again not 110 no okay it's, let's say uh, 110 is fine and let's check here again the size yeah, 832. So it should fit in here. 832. So there is another one. This this one basically 8 is the last one, but this one it start it start looping again and using this one. So let's make it smaller, maybe 105. Yeah, this one is fine. So yeah. So this is cool. So we are going to make another directory here, let's call it animations. We'll add here basically all the flipbooks. So let's add a new flipbook here, it should be somewhere in here. Sorry, it should be miscellaneous as well. So, flipbook, and let's call this flipbook uh, yeah, it's the same name. Climbing vertically. So let's open this flipbook. 
and let's add eight Ch array of seven zero to seven which means eight so to and let's open all of them basically this is how I like to work sort everything at once not one by one so frame run one okay frame run means maybe I didn't mention this before but it means this frame will hold as a one frame or two frames so basically if, if we select oh, let's fill it first and then we can show what does it mean three four five six seven and eight so I'm minimizing this so we'll be able to watch here so this is how he's climbing so we will not change the frame rate yet but let's see if we hold if we say okay this frame let's select something in the middle let's say frame number four this frame it will be equal five no let's say equal 15 so the, the, the animation will start looping so whenever it comes to this frame it will duplicate this frame and run it 15 times so if we come here so it, it holds so this is frame 4 it holds for 15 frame so yeah so basically you can change timing here if you know some basics about animations you can change timing here and one more thing to to mention so you can see here this is one two three four and this is a frame where we, we hold which basically four here means frame number five which is zero one two three four so four means number five so if you see here this is zero one two three and this is frame number four or no, frame number five which have the index zero so it holds for 15 if we change this like uh, four times so it shrink to four times so yeah this is how we control timing and yeah you can change this if you if you know more about animations and timing but if you don't so don't miss here so keep it one and let's check the animation it's running maybe a little fast so we are going to change the frame rate so here we have eight frames and we say every 15 frames is one second so let's say here every eight frames is one second let's check here yeah it's pretty Maybe can make it even faster. Every 10 frames. Yeah, it's nice with 10 or 8. Let's see 5, for example. Maybe even slower. No, I don't like it. Uh, maybe we are going to change this later, but when we are going to make the character controller and we start testing the game, so then we can change this. But yeah, for, for now, let's keep it 8. Or let's keep it 10 for, for now. So yeah, it's it's fine, it's cool. So I'm going to save. So you know now how it looks like. So we build the sprites, we import the images, build the sprites, and then build the animation. So now I'll be keep building all the animations. As you can see here, we have climbing horizontal, dying, dying, idle, open door, and run, which have lots of frames and will take so long. So I'll be running all this. So you'll see the video running fast and then we, we continue.
So now I have finished the six or seven animations. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So yeah, I finished all the animations. It's all running now as a loop, but uh, yeah, there is one animation here which is not loop. So maybe we can, when we are going to use this animation, maybe we can stop the animation itself when we want to stop, or we can open the animation here and select the last frame and say it lasts forever. Not forever, but it, it lasts like four. Okay, let's say 50 frame or something, and and then I will be loading the other animation somewhere in here or here. So yeah, it, it will be looks like this. So it's fallen and stay in this position. So it's fallen and stay in this position. But yeah, for now let's stay, keep it looping. It's it's not a big deal, not a problem, so keep it looping for now. And yeah, for 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 this thing, for this frame run or something, which we keep holding the frames, there's another thing, you can use it from here by dragging the frame. So you can see here it became 16 and, and this one here, number 4, became 17 so yeah you can change either from here or from there so yeah so now we have all the animations everything organized this is the sprite animations and we have all the sprites itself in here organized as you saw it's uh, it takes some time but yeah this tool is still in development and it's not recommended to use this tool. It's uh, if if you open the project in Xcode or Visual Studio, if you open the the engine source code, you'll find the Paper 2D thing is still in development, and it's it shouldn't be there anyway. So now we are going to start making something else. We are going to make our environment stuff. So here in Atlases. Yeah, we're going to cut every single thing here we're going to use and make it on its own atlas and its own sprite, excuse me. So I will start making like a couple of these and then run the video while making the rest of the stuff here. So yeah, let's start with, let's start making, uh, this one looks interesting. Let's start making this one, yep, which have the fins, or this one, also interesting. Anyway, let's start with anyone, let's start making the fins one, which have the fins. So let's go to here, and to my game, and sprite, and let's make another folder called environment, or just use a short word. So let's create sprite and call this one fence or let's call it uh, because here in spread there is different there is this fence and this piece and that piece and small piece in here so let's call it uh, big fence or square fence fence square yeah so let's open this and Select this image, which called fins here, and let's take its dimensions. So it's 1024, and it is in here. And let's oh, sorry, zero. So it's 1024. Let's shrink to fit our fence. Okay, okay maybe five twelve. It's fine. And this part, I'm going to cut it more. It will be uh, 388. Yeah, it's cool. So, this is a fence. 
So if we drag our fins here, you'll see it. it looks beautiful. Apart from this yellow shading, yeah, I like this yellow shading. In fact, it's for selecting stuff. But yeah, if we deselect, it looks beautiful. There is a small piece in here, so we can open this. And in here, this is 512, let's say 510, no, 58, for example. Let's save. I still a little bit, so let's say 505. Anyway, it will not appear because there will be lots of grass, lots of environment elements, so no one will see it, but yeah, just feel that I'm working perfect. So this is a fence. Let's select another one. I don't think I will going with this horizontal and vertical pieces because we are going to make just one level. So I prefer to go with these uh, trees or this tree logs and these things. I don't know what's it, it's rock or something, but yeah, let's go with these things. So maybe I'll call this uh, rock green, so rock green 1, rock green 2, 3 and 4. So let's... Because it's based on the same atlas, so I'm going to copy it quickly. And let's rock green 1. And open the rock green. And let's say again uh, where it is located here. It's next to this, so I can move here. No, sorry. Let's say again what it was. It was 388. 388. I want to move first, so let's move our atlas here. And then let's zoom and let's zoom more and let's make the size put it in the middle and sorry and it's oh. I want to cut the upper part so um oh pivot mode interesting let's put it in the center uh, middle center. There is no middle center. Center, center. Yeah, center, center. What? Okay, let's select something else. And center, center again. Ah, it's always selecting this. Okay, no problem. Let's come here. just this part move it like this and let's maximize gain yeah so we can just say for one eight point five Nine three oh three 
and if you fall and let's drag this here and amazing yeah so I'll keep making all the atlases or at least what I'm going to use because basically we are not going to use everything I found on the internet so yeah maybe I'll cut the other rocks from here maybe this green things I will use a couple of this uh, this is looks like fence but have some yeah have some leaves yeah it's fence with leaves so maybe I'll cut se several pieces of this maybe four or five but not everything and I'll keep moving with other atlases like the cannon and platforms and ground and castle yeah, castle one is very big, so it would be easy to cut. Anyway, I'll keep making this, and yeah, I'll run the video fast. So as you see now, I, I have built all uh, this uh, tin sprites, it was a little bit painful, or taking some time, time consuming, uh, but it's not very friendly to build sprites here, maybe there is another way I didn't figure out yet, but yeah, there is no documentation and nothing, but uh, there is nothing here. Yeah, even I cannot see in here, so I, I keep focusing in this small area and keep focusing that the sprite looks nice and then double check in the viewport. Anyway, uh, I've built all these uh, tin sprites with the same way, same method, everything we, we used, it, it's the same. So I'll be building the rest of the sprites you will need in the level, which is basically all this, uh, all this uh, sprites here and this atlas so I don't think you really need to watch this or you don't really need to keep watching a video running with some music or you don't really need to watch the same procedure again and again and again so I'll just end our video here and our lesson here this lesson will end here and starting from the next lesson you'll find all the sprites already made which would be something like 50 or 60 sprite I, I think it yeah and then we'll start in the next uh, tutorial making the level or building our level so yeah it ends here and I hope you enjoy it learn it something new if you have any issues any problems just leave a comment below and if you are interested in what I'm making and you like what I'm making and want to keep following so there is subscribe button Press the subscribe and you'll be able to get on my updates always. And yeah, that's it. Thank you and see you next time. Bye.